Here's how JPC can still win, chat. Kill him! I am flabbergasted. Easy! Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true. Even me? Absolutely. <gasps> wow. I'm going to join the Discord to learn how. Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom. No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes successful improvement based on my coaching, made possible by the support of the generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up and enjoy the video. I think his alarm bot's too far up because we're on eco round. If I were the enemy team and I saw that kill your alarm bot, Ehuka, I'd probably just reset for an A. Oh, it's one of those games. JPC didn't even know the bomb was getting planted. My favorite type of game. Grenade. You don't know why you always bet on yes? Well, you'd be messed up not to bet yes. You gotta have faith in JPC. Ooh, we're aimed a bit low. There we go. You got aim for the back wall. Oh my god, no comms from the team. Hookah is being pressured. Found them. There's one Hookah. Okay, okay. There's one Belong and one Hookah. Cook them, JPC. Cook them. Cook them. Cook them. Enemy spotted B. Cooked. Spike down B. Why is that guy still U Haul? Oh man, we're too passive, John. I think JPC is a little nervous still. One enemy remaining. The hooker. You tip it out. Uh oh. He's on site. You tip it back here. Back here. Thirty seconds left. Oh, well, he could have faked it. He could not fake it. We heard both TPs, JPC. Different. Top frag. JPC has to do everything, but that's no problem because he can do everything. Let's go. Two is all they get. Out that I would go light arbor. You're more interested in this guy's games than my own sometimes. Do me too. As a coach, there's nothing more satisfying than long-term, like, improvement of a student. Like, the first time Brad hit Diamond. Get out of my way! My light armor is basically as good and it's way cheaper. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Spike down a. Yeah, we should be TPing far more willingly. Yeah, and then just fight these guys. Next series, Zoomer to Diamond? No, that doesn't prove anything. Zoomer to Diamond is the series specifically because I wanted to show that anybody can reach Diamond. And all it takes is consistent practice. How's JPC? He's in his 40s. Zoomer to Diamond wouldn't teach anybody anything. 
Look, did you know that if you're young and you get coaching, you can reach diamond with good practice? Like, yeah. I I think this Araxis is not upgraded. After JPC hits diamond, um, we're not stopping. We're just creating a new we're playlist on YouTube that. called JPC After Hours. It'll be the same time slot, same climb, but we're going for Immortal. And there will be a few things changed. So going for Diamond, I've been very hands off. I've mostly let JPC learn the game himself because I don't want people to be like, oh, well, I can't hit Diamond because That's JPC so had a wrong. personal coach the whole way. I don't want people to have that thought. However, from well, Diamond to Immortal, well. I could not care less. And we will be switching to a VOD review model. Uh, I'll be prepping playbooks for him. Oh, JPC, you're such a baiter. You gotta, you gotta walk out. Ooh. Jet was elbow. Yeah, this is impossible. Oh, he really should expect that jet to be wide on him there. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Pen flash, you're gonna have to describe what I gain from that arrangement. <laughs> How are you different from JPC? By the way, I want to make it clear if JPC gets less than 18 RR, that still counts as a yes in the prediction even though technically the prediction title is whether or not he ranks up to diamond. The implied underlying question is whether or not JPC wins this game. If you don't like that, there's plenty of other streamers Spike planted. who probably do things that you do like. This is tough. Find is a. Uh, I generally find it easier to defend on this map, but right now that is not the case. Ooh, there's an op triple. Last player standing. Power's out. Yeah, pen flash. Basically, you have to be JPC when I've got 40 viewers, or you need to be uh, like a oh, famous streamer now. They don't have a single life Yeah, yeah, thanks for the two months. Zero comps is rough, but I don't think he has any trolls, Mr. Catman. I don't know why you're saying that. Oh, Omen TP'd on site. Okay. Oh, our jet got two. Omen might be CT. Different. Spike down. Different. Yeah, where's Omen? He, he's he was on Visa. Um, was he in hookah? Where the hell's Omen? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, uh, up on him. Yeah, Let's yeah. go, JPC Div. I can hold an area pretty well myself. Make sure to cover the angles I can't. New series idea: Zoomer to Radiant. That series sounds terrible. For one, setting a goal as Radiant for somebody who's not already at least Immortal Three is terrible because it's an unrealistic goal. And for two, what does it prove? Nothing. Keep it cool, placing swarm grenade. Uh, sounds like there's one hookah. About death to immortal. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Drone hookah. But I think that's um too specific. Oh my God, JPC gets away with that. Oh, Jesus. You bait her. Thirty FPS to immortal? No, I'd recommend if you plan thirty FPS, you shouldn't play Valorant. Last player standing. Let's Ah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna start dishing timeouts for these dumb ideas if you don't add a slash S. Knife only to gold timeout one day. Focus on the JPC game, please. Oh my god, we're top frag. I'm not going to lie. I TP showers here all day. Is he just like me? Spike planted. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I'll be showing in the bind guide, which is tomorrow, by the way, on stream. Shout out to my own stream. Tomorrow, bind guide. Um... There's this like solo controller Viper wall that goes like this. That's really strong. And you can like put it up and you can rotate showers. And what like you just have showers in this type of way. Party your bounty. Thank you for the prime. Don't worry, Mr. Catman. It'll be going on YouTube. And yes, on Wuhu Jim VODs. Yo, peak cows. Leave the prime. Great ult. Good tap. The question is, does this... Oh, no. You Jet saw. Is, um, is a short with the op. No way he's got shock lineups. That's tragic. No time. Got a TP. You got a TP. Go TP. Go TP. She's skin shopping. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's tough. Dude got a 140, man. That feels so bad. That's the thing with the Phantom. When the Phantom screws you over, it's palpable. When the Vandal screws you over, it's hidden. And so that's why a lot of people just don't play Phantom. Is JPC tilt proof? That's a ridiculous question. Nobody's tilt proof. Oh, I'm going to say, uh, be long. Wow. <laughs> Last player standing. Oh my god. Spike planted. JPC's got to get more aggro. I'm not going to lie.
You tell so much easier than he does? Have you played as many games as he has? JPC actually has a whole, like, series on this on YouTube, by the way, <laughs> about uh, the mental aspect of climbing. You should go check it out. He does, like, a podcast. His YouTube is just Norvegis's Rex. You can see it there in uh, blue text on the overlay underneath his name. And that's your answer, Mela. You've played less hours. You're less experienced. Okay. Ooh, that attack operator is dangerous. Last player standing. Ooh, we're aiming too low. Spike planted. Oh, oh, that's yeah. tough. That's a tough half. That should be five to seven, which is still a bad scoreline. But there were a couple of rounds where they pushed us on B and we were too passive. We got the 9-3 curse. What rank do you think people generally get to after 400 hours of play? I'm, I'm going to time you off for an hour total, Nub. Just because I want you to think about how little that question matters. Everyone learns at their own pace. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. We need a miracle. We need a miracle. We need a miracle. 56 HP. Oh, 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 no. It's tough. Chai, thank you for the two months. Thank you for the two months. Fanatic wins these. That's all I'm saying. It's going to go to 311, almost certainly, if we don't force here. Ryak Z, thank you for the prime. I personally would be calling a stinger force here in solo queue. I don't think I'd want to give the defenders an 11th round. Reloading. Enemy spotted B. Smoke's down. Damn. Damn, these guys playing really good Valorant. The enemy team's not afraid of anything, you see? You see how confident they are to take fights? They just just TPs and fights. Neon just swings out. It's like the opposite of how we've been playing. That's naturally what happens when you get to the higher ELOs. Diamond and up, you get a lot of players with egos who think they're the best player in the world. And so they play very confidently. A lot of the time too confidently, but... Putting a nano on our flank alarm bot? That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, they're already pushing us from behind. <laughs> Match point. 
better be overconfident or play more careful. Overconfidence. It's way easier to take a player who has too oh. much confidence and help them dial it down than it is to take a player who's afraid and dial it up. Because that player who's afraid can't simply dial it up. But the player who's not afraid of anything, it's not that hard to dial it down. Quick peeks now. Holding a bit tight here for our off angle. Uh, caught me off guard. Neon is in showers. Yeah, you see how fast this Neon's willing to just TP and take fights? We need that energy. One heaven. Good nade. Good nade. Good nade. Here's how JPC can still win, chat. Kill him! I am flabbergasted. Easy! That shit's already given up. Who wasn't trolling? Oh, don't give me that, Doc. Let's be real. A lot of people give up when the scoreline is 3-12. to 12. Just like a lot of people act like the game's already won when they're on the team that has 12. Don't act like she's clearly been trolling all game because she knifed out that round. She was good for like three on many rounds on defense. Easy. One enemy remaining. Stim beacon down. Unlucky team. Hard disagree. Silver mindset. There were a couple of rounds JPC could have won on his own that we didn't. If you would blame your team for this game, you're probably not going to be able to hit like a mortal or higher unless you can change your mindset. If you put yourself in JPC's shoes and you go, this is a team diff. You got to learn to think a bit more self-critically. Yeah, exactly, Ethan. JPC's got major case of indecision and lack of confidence. Even when I lose because of my team, you don't lose because of your team in Silver, Plus, and Funky. Silver is low enough elo that generally you can just win every game if you're um, good enough. Neon's belong. One thirty-four neon. Beyond. ADS crouch spray. I mean, that is a confident commit to a fight. That Neon's going to push long now. Yup. She's won. You need to calm this. You need to calm this. She's won, JPC. No, ulting's really bad against an enemy who's got 16 HP. Oh, no. No. Oh. That's tough. That is tough, JPC. JPC, I, I you're feel, too I passive. Feel I felt good. I felt good about no, it. Nah, you had rounds what? where they're pushing you B, and you're just like hiding, watching your teammates die. Crouch cubby, hiding elbow when they pushed out. We're weak side. I was trying to get them to come into my traps, no? Is that not? I don't know. Like you're uh, octagon alone, and they're pushing up, and you're just like hiding. Oh, when they, yeah, when they, yeah, that's right. Or um, let's see, you were cubby, and your teammate was backside fighting octagon, and you just stayed cubby while your teammate died. Um, you were elbow, they smoked you off, and your teammate was fighting from backside, and he died. You just stayed elbow. 
Oh, just just to name a few. <laughs> yeah, let's see. They were taking A, and you just didn't TP until like it was retake time. Compared to the way the enemy team played, they were like overconfident. Like they were TPing instantly. Um, yeah. Because of course they're winning. Um, it's easier to play with overconfidence when the score is twelve to three. You know, but that's the yeah. energy you're missing. It really like if you're saying, "Oh, but we're weak side." Well, then you should be doubled up long. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, the fact of the matter was your teammates were playing to hold the site yep. and trying to fight for it. And you just watch them do that sort of, which is no um, good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You got to get in the fights earlier. It's like if they're hitting your site and you become last alive, that's probably not good, <laughs> especially if you're playing Sentinel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. That was a tough game, though. Ooh. That, that is the first time I've seen that lobby. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in a full ascended lobby. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're bottom of the scoreboard, though, even though you were top of like your team scoreboard in frags. Yeah. We're no really low kills. impact yeah. that game. Yeah. Yeah. If the way the Neon was playing is more how I'd like us to be playing on Killjoy. If you recall the enemy Neon, just taking very aggressive space, showers, be long. And you know what she'd do after she killed one? She'd push more. Or if push she didn't more, see yeah. any, she'd just push more. That's like way better. I mean, she's heckin' ascended two, almost ascended three. She's close to yeah. immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't have clips. You need confidence. Yes, agreed. If you want to queue another, you're free to. If you don't, you're also free to. Yeah, Maybe it. We'll pay out the doubters. Bet we're queuing another. Come on. Pay out. And we will run another prediction. Match found. <laughs> Does JPC win? What was your RR differential after that game? Uh, 18 minus six, uh, so I'm at 64. Sorry, Thank I'm you. I've already sorted everything. Okay, JPC, I don't care win or lose. I want to see the most confident killjoy in the world. All right, deal. I want to think that you're a radiant smurf who doesn't care about your elo because this is your fifth alt account. And you're just, you're tilted from queuing on your main and facing three professional players who railed you. And so you want to go take out your anger on some platinum players. And you don't care if you bought frag. All right. All right. Deal. That's the mental headspace I need you in. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, these guys are vibing, chat. Look at them. They're talking it out and picking agents. Damn, dude. We popped a full Ascendant lobby on our Diamond Rank Up game. We have Ascendant 2s. JPC's just him, man. His MMR. It's too good. Brad's house kicked 90. They have the tier three. Oh my God. I don't like this. Makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. <laughs> Monka S. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in danger. What was the prediction? Good morning, everyone. Chill. Why does MMR even exist? I heard you guys had a fun game on. Because summer. believe it or not, even you actually prefer this system this way. Uh, even if you think you online. don't. Um, even if you go, um, I'd rather just see my objective you. rank. No, you wouldn't. Um, there's been tons of studies on this. Humans are too loss averse for an objective ranking system. The problem with objective ranking systems is you can know that you're literally, if you lose one game, you lose your rank. And you could be getting minus 50 plus 10. 
in an objective ranking system. And it can be so demoralizing that you think you just should never queue up. Raise could be B. You could literally win a game and lose MMR. You could lose a game and gain MMR. Like, these things would be incredibly frustrating. From a user experience. And I know that because um, League of Legends had that for a little bit in season one. 60 MKJ. Um, StarCraft used to be an objective MMR system. And these systems, there's a reason they died out. Nice try by JPC. That's why you don't queue chess anymore. You can't handle your elo tanking when you try something new. Yeah, it's like crazy how human psychology works. If you look at the Lee Chess rank distribution, it looks like um, this. So we'll have number of players in rank and elo here. Okay. And it looks like this. Do you know what these spikes are? The spikes are at the round numbers because our human brains get too attached to them. You hit 1800 and you know what you do? You stop playing because you're like, oh no, I got to hold on to my 1800. And that's really bad from um, the game's perspective and from your perspective. Those players who stop playing they don't want to stop playing. They want to keep improving and playing, but they're afraid of losing their, their rank. And so Valorant shields you from that a bit. Like if you're gold one, zero RR in Valorant, you're not demoting, man. You're not demoting until your MMR goes to silver one or something. Like Valorant will really be like, we got you. We got you. You can keep queuing. You can keep your gold icon. Don't worry. We'll match you with your MMR, but here's your gold icon. Don't worry. You're gold. We validate you. And that comforts people. And they keep queuing. <laughs> Literally me when I hit 2200. Exactly. It happens at every even number. One enemy remaining. Let's go. Let's go. Spike coming back. Easy. Don't you lose rank after losing one game at zero RR? Um, not when you're at division one, unless you're immortal. Uh, if you're immortal one zero RR, you lose it right away. But if you're ascendant one, diamond one, platinum one. It's more forgiving. No. At Platinum 2 and Platinum 3, yes, you lose it right away. I believe there's like a grace period at other divisions. Maybe I'm thinking of League of Legends. It's been so long since I've been low elo. Oh, that's League? Okay. <laughs> it's actually been so long. <laughs> Sova is grass. My bad, my bad, my bad. Grass. One pushing up B. One I think that should be B. the case Sova. with Valo. <laughs> I think your rank should be completely invisible. And then at the end of the episode, Riot says, here you go. Here's your rank and here's your gun, buddy. So you have no idea what rank you are the whole time. You're just matching into lobbies based off of your hidden MMR. No rank icon. No idea what rank you are. And then at the end, Riot's like, this is your rank. That's garage. And that way, you have no idea when you can stop and when you're safe. <laughs> And they just give you your buddy based off your peak rank. So there's no punishment for losing 50 in a row after you hit diamond finally. 
You still get your diamond, buddy. Your monkey braid needs immediate validation. Are you sure? You're watching my stream right now. And I'm like... Very delayed gratification content. That's tough. Tough. Is it already peak rank? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, the problem with that system is there's no dopamine because you have no idea when you rank up and dopamine is also important. Used to be you had to have the Dorito filled. Um, no, you needed nine, nine wins. Easy, easy. One garage. Be able to decide at the start of the act. The problem is then people can tell you. Because you could look up ranks of other people in your game. It has to be an all or nothing thing. Either nobody knows their rank at all. Like Riot doesn't even expose it via API. Or everyone can figure it out. Yes, Emery, you only need one at your peak. In fact, you technically don't need one win at your peak. Like your promotion game counts. So... If you win your promotion game to Immortal, that's right, that's right. bam, that counts and you get Immortal Gun, buddy. You don't have to do anything beyond that. JPC plays like Sentinel and uh, sentinel -y smokes duders, so he plays like Viper. Had your rank from other students? No, but you could look up the people's ranks in your lobby, Blue Bomb. Is it morally wrong to throw for an Iron Buddy? I'm just timing you out. That's, that's the stupidest question I've heard, dude. Out. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> what do you... <laughs> no, you should just throw all those rank games. That's totally ethical. Get that question out of my chat. Even Nikhil is saying, of course, it's morally wrong. And Nikhil was insistent that playing on 1200 EDPI was fine. Oh! Hook him. Hook him. Sit. Oh, are they left? <gasps> They're not. Oops. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. They will die. Hopeless and afraid. the Poro. They were the three months. This is perfect. We're going to keep JPC and Platinum 3 Limbo so I can keep farming content. Do you have any knowledge on Raw Excel? If so, what's your take? Yeah. I'll answer that question in exchange for a one day timeout. Go read the game training channel. I wrote up a nice seven paragraph essay on questions like that. Oh. Easy! 40 to raise. It's five stack D ranking. Okay, I'm just... No, because then eventually you have to play ranked and win. Get, get out of here. Get, just get out of here. Nice. Stop trying to figure out where the line is. It doesn't matter where the line is, okay? Just Q ranked on your main account. Get out of here. TPC did get his too. It's a lift. <laughs> the blue bomb, that's ridiculous. <laughs> if 
<laughs> Guys, I'm trying to figure out exactly where the line is on smurfing. Is it like okay if There's I'm doing a gun only rest. challenge and I'm only 700 RR below my main, my but the gun is like dramatically weaker than the normal guns I buy? Just shut up. It, it, it doesn't matter. I want ranks to be 10 people 80, of equal uh, skill trying their armor. hardest to win. That's what I want ranks to be. If you're not making ranks that, I'm not okay with it. That's my guy. Relatively equal skill. Don't be like, oh, matchmaking doesn't do that. Fujin. And my hot take is immortal and up is not really any smurfing. Like, I could not care less if Curry plays on his immortal two account because I'm immortal one and I face pros in solo queue. Seconds left. I face him anyways. It's just a problem when he queues in platinum. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Spike planted. Toxins going up. Yeah, Curry's really good at the game. Isn't you facing pros just because your MMR is so high? I don't think so. Like, look at my tracker. I've had a flat 50% or lower win rate in Immortal 1 and 2 for the past like two acts now as I've been learning Initiator. Let's go. Let's go. Where did you notice the biggest skill gap between two ranks? Immortal 3 and Radiant, of course. Because it's a million RR away. Alarm bot. Get out of my way. Two grass, one oh sorry, one grass. I think everyone can get to ascended one. I think everyone can get to a mortal one. Assuming you have ping below one hundred stable. And you have FPS above 60, stable. Nice, well played. As long as those two conditions are met and then you practice every day, everyone can hit a mortal. 77 Raptor Prime. Thank you. Sorry, 77 Raptor, thank you for the Prime. I got dizzy. Recently new here, been learning flash initiators or recon? Both. We had fake Ananas on the stream yesterday teaching me KO on Pearl and VOD reviewing my KO on Fracture. That will be going up on YouTube shortly. Your Prime ever reset? Yeah, I used my Prime. Um, who did we raid yesterday? I forget, but I used my Prime on them immediately. The, yeah, garage, garage. Nice, got him. Easy. Got him. Good job, turret. Who's a good turret? Oh, JPC's Who's feeling it. Turret? He's feeling it. Oh. Sorry, I have to. Can't pecky. Nice to Ooh, there, true. No, I rated Xander after premiere. I'd already used my prime. Yeah, I only did thirty-two, so. <laughs> nice. JPC's going clinically insane. Yeah, when it's not his rank up game, the dude cooks. <laughs> you have six millisecond ping, 30 plus FPS. You practice every day. You're still iron. Prove it. Link your me mechanics practice for the past week. Right now. Let me see it. You should run. Placing 
you haven't uploaded yet then don't talk about it because you know that i won't accept people claiming something ridiculous like that without having proof readily available you can't be like i'm bronze and i get immortals every game and then when i say prove it you go oh i can't my tracker's private you show your tracker i need to see your mechanical practice winter mute because as a player below gold it's very important that you're practicing your mechanics every day what are you at in the benchmarks for my hit gold guaranteed video it doesn't matter if you're playing ranked i need to see how you're practicing your mechanics because that's generally the problem he did record today that's not good enough i need to see a weak comparison i need to see you a week ago and you today to see the improvement delta across a week to figure out what's wrong Ten seconds left. Alarm bot down. Yeah. Fight him. Fight him. Do it. Do it. Fight them. You're reloading on 12? Reloading on 12, hey, JPC? Hey, Nick, you want this? Hmm? Reloading on 12? Uh, I and you knew she that. was hell and you're falling back I, instead of just swinging her ass? I was I was trying to play team fight him, fight him. <laughs> I wanted to get down to two HP before I killed him. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Placing swarm grenade. He did it for the contest. <laughs> you have a video on what's a good and bad fight? No, it's too complicated. Uh, Movement Mastery 2 probably comes the closest where I show a bunch of different fights to try and illustrate why your thought process of trying to turn it into a flowchart to calculate when a fight's good or how you should peak is flawed and is not how you approach games like this. The way you need to approach fights is you need to visualize the outcome of the fight if you were to peek it in a certain way. And if you visualize yourself winning it more than losing, then you do it. That's how the game's played. It's all about how good you are at on-the-fly visualization for the outcome of a given engagement. A good analogy would be if you've ever played TFT, the game is too complicated to math out if your board beats somebody else's board. So the best players are the ones who can just sort of determine if their board will beat somebody else's board based off of no mathematical factors, but just intuition and feel. Easy. One tapped. I one tapped him. You guys see that? One tap. Okay, all right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All legs. It was all legs. Switching sides. <clears throat> Shouldn't we be overconfident and visualize ourselves winning always? Um, as a silver player, yeah, that's not an unhealthy way to play the game. But no, at a certain point, if you just take every fight because you're like, I will I'll definitely win this, you'll never hit a mortal. You have to be able to identify bad fights and good fights. See you on the other side. Oh. Ooh, this is a close game. This is likely going to seven to seven now. The RR is literally on this on the screen. On the bottom left. 
Is there a reason JPC always goes Sheriff round one? I think he likes Sheriff. Doesn't bother me. Yeah. How you survive. Winter Mute, I wouldn't cope too hard about the rank icons Winter of people died. in your death matches. It I would say once your gunfight hygiene is at a passable level, you can play on equal footing of those players in DM, regardless of rank icon. In terms of you can do decently well in a death match. Um Rank icon is a lot more about game sense after a certain point than it is about raw 50-50 firing power. Just look at JPC um, when I play death matches with him. He scores very well and sometimes he passes me on the scoreboard. How's he do that when I'm 1,500 RR higher than him? The answer is because in deathmatch, people are just wide swinging and hard committing to fights to practice nothing but your movement and your like dead 50 50 fights. In ranked, the fights are not like that at all. Come amped. Let's go. I got things to do. Out. Boss coming back. Alarm Again, saying you keep up with immortals in DM doesn't mean anything. Like, it's a really good, like, that's the also annoying take is when the silver player's like, dude, I just beat an immortal in deathmatch. It's like, okay, so what? <laughs> You know, Liv, I s that list is specifically players who I think are the best at their agents. If you think I should be putting players who aren't even like four digit RR on there, there's one in I'd have to heavily disagree. Like, who would you rather have on your team as Brimstone, Perry 2N or Xander? And then if your answer is still Perry 2N, then unfortunately I just have to disagree with you until the end of time. Oh. That's tough. That list is not comprehensive either. There's absolutely other players who do belong on the list, but that's a list of people that I know for sure are stupidly good at that agent and that role that you can study and learn effectively from are there other people who are probably stupidly good that you can learn from yes but i haven't studied them and so i can't give them the banana seal of approval and see there goes crusty asking why isn't this guy on the list and that's why i just haven't studied them personally so i don't know if they play solo queue at a level that's effective to study or not And there's no reason for me to study them to find that out because there's enough controllers on the list. There's enough that you can easily go find VODs. The only factor is if I've studied them or not, Krusty, and if I felt that they're good. It's the only factor. It, yeah, it was Jet. You killed their C-Rank, so... Ooh, this we're, is we're tough. KJ, we're, this we're is racing. tough. Right there. Not the spike, wings. Last Ooh, lazy clear, lazy clear. We had it. We had it. Oh. 
so tough. Any good league coaches to watch? I have no idea, dude. I used to play on a team with Max Waldo, and then he coached professionally. And I hear he streams coaching for league, so I would guess that he's good. But that's a guess. I haven't really watched his coaching content. I don't play league anymore. Tough. Tough. Getting diffed by the no, the default card raise. Have any other FPS experience? I do not. Valorant's my first FPS game. Uh, Jet. Yeah. Could we put you to the Jet has been there at least once. Outside of that. Um, there's one garage. I'm leaving you. Try another I'm FPS game and stream it. People would have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not interested in that at this time. Let's go. Let's go. We're on the board. We should be looking oh, to our left. Oh, okay, we know her location. Let's go. Reloading. <laughs> he says a bullet tickle. Alarm bot out. You're mad, probably. Think of the prime. Spearfin, what are you high? <laughs> Did you just ask if I'm not the same as the Ethan person on Omen's, Discord? Omen's what? <laughs> That's Ethan. <laughs> not me. <laughs> you mean? Omen was garage. Oh, oh, this looks good. Yes. Reloading on fourteen. This guy just joins discords and asks if people are the same. He like joins a new discord. He's like, yo, what's up, Frank? I'm new here. Are you the same as this Bob and Michael guy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I really hope we didn't just get ninjaed. Oh. Ripper Dog, thank you for the Prime. Honey Badger God TV, thank you for the Prime. We got this. Oh, enemy team's got great retake ultimates though. Drop. Omen's been pseudo pushing this Phoenix zone. So watch out for blind. Ooh, we should have looked gla grass while we came out there. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. 
Silva's pushing uh, grass with a uh, vandal. Bro just has a judge. Yeah, he might have backed off. Last player standing. Spike down, attacker spawn. Played Harbor on Premier yesterday and cooked? We played five duelists on Premier yesterday and cooked. Getting hard. Get back to chilling. Think a different radiant RR thresholds. Matter in terms of how hard it is it radiant? It it does, yeah. Just think of it this way: Is it harder to be the best chess player in a country with five million residents, or the best chess player in a country with ten residents? On average, on average, it's going to be a lot easier to become the best in the country with ten residents. That's an extreme example, but the exact same logic applies for five million residents and one million residents. Because Radiant is flat top 500 and not a percentile, then smaller regions are objectively easier to hit it. And this is how it is. That's tough. The enemy killjoy ult detained three of us, dude. That's tough. Your weapon is only a tool. You can't just shoot. You have to think. What is the smallest region lol? <laughs> get out of here, get out of here. Got ours. It's really dangerous to walk up here because uh, we don't have anybody window anymore. Spike down A. Ooh, clear the cubby, clear the cubby, clear the cubby. <sighs> that was not a clear JPC. Oh my god. Good luck. Where's your bot? Tough. Defender. Tough. GG's. Groundhog Day. Back into 50 RR. That's a tough one. That game was a lot better. I, two lot default better. cards on the enemy team. Monka S. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a scoreboard I like to see. That's more like it. Yeah. That felt better. It did feel better. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough game too, man. Your on-stream games are hard, man. What the mm -hmm. heck? Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I think it's because there's less people playing, so, like, the I don't get closer to my MR. Is that, does that make sense? Is that even... Nah. I, no. Your ELO, it's like, there's definitely enough people playing. I should not have played against Ascendants last game, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were playing terribly. You had a lot of good rounds. Well, a lot of could have been good rounds. Yeah. Group of two passive. Yeah, we just gotta keep playing. We gotta keep playing. We're gonna get it. I don't want to give you anything more. It's really just the um, like the confidence to do things quickly and just yeah, gamble. Be, be aggressive. Wire trap. Recognize patterns. Yep. Just yep. we'll run it back. We're gonna hit it. Yep. It's only Got a matter it. of time. Yep. Thank you for playing JPC. Thank you. Thank you. Have, Have a, a nice Sunday. Sunday. Right. See you later.